Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Tuesday. Two weeks out. Next week is peak week. Blows my mind every time I think about it. Um, yes, yeah, so this weekly vlog is pretty much going to be appointments, catch-ups. I'm going to run through with you guys exactly how I look, how I feel. Um, officially two weeks out for my first ever comp. So, yeah, stay tuned. Join along. I also have to down two of these today. So, this is a two litre drink bottle. Got it from Coles. I did have a Yeti, which is a drink bottle in Australia, but lost it. So, I'm gonna have to just use this bad boy for another couple of weeks. Got a few appointments I need to do today. Got to, I got a new car, so. <clears throat> Gotta change that over to my personalized plates and then got a few client appointments, that fun stuff, posing sessions. But first off, we go to the gym, we do our posing, we do our cardio, go for a walk, then we come home and then we do all the things. First, gotta smash that off. So, I'm gonna go have myself some food. And then we'll head to the gym. Let me say this one time, that one time, you make me feel alright. So nice. I know you wanna do one, say less. You can stay the night, you don't gotta go, we could take this slowly. No need to be lonely. Let me take you on this ride, no need to be shy, girl. We in the end, it's an option, but wouldn't it be sad? Taking off, I don't be flat, I got the sauce, you got the spice, time ain't an issue with you, it's a virtue, don't worry about anything, I'm right beside you this night, comfort like memory, you and I, nobody else, no, I am bad at kissing time, I wanna get to know everything you wanna see where you been, where you from, it's on your waist, yeah, now I got a taste, I, I don't wanna let you go, we in the end, it's an option, but what if you said, if you left this, we got chemistry, these online courses but you definitely can get it done and you know you definitely can work around keeping fit and still training um, because that will be I guess a little bit of um, an outlet for you especially if you do hey guys I'm back from running my errands it is almost 12 30 had a few client calls I went for a morning walk ended up trying to get my car registered in my name but i realized that you yeah, actually have to pay money for that shit and paydays until tomorrow so i'm gonna hold off i'm gonna do that tomorrow so because i'm just mentally just not in the headspace to deal with that bullshit right now like and i said this in my story today on instagram but the more i dive deeper into this prep and officially being two weeks out 
my mental capacity for small errors to just go wrong, I just can't deal. Like, I feel like crying 24 seven. I feel like just screaming to my lungs fall out. Like I just wanna punch a wall, but then I wanna crawl up into a ball and cry. It's just, it's an emotional roller coaster. I just, I can't do it. Like this whole week has been a struggle down. I've been really wanting to just pull out but I'm so close and I know that everything that I am feeling is validated. I know that everything that I am thinking is validated and I know that it's just because I'm depleted and it's just because I am on super low calories. So at the moment, and I'm going to put it up on the screen here, but at the moment I am on 1300 calories. I'm doing 15,000 steps per day. I'm doing cardio seven days a week of 50 minutes of stepper and I am doing strength five days a week, four lower, one upper. So yeah, it's, it's a lot. I just, I'm so exhausted. I'm so exhausted, but I just got to keep pushing through. So I have a feeling that I am probably going to have today as a rest day because I just, I can't deal with it today. Like I just don't have the strength to go train. Um, and it's already what, 12 o'clock and I've just come back from being out of the house. And I just, I just want to chill around here, do some work on my laptop, edit some videos. Um, yeah, I just want to be at home for the rest of the day, go for another walk around this area just chill out. So I probably won't film for the rest of today, but I thought I'll sit down and update you guys on exactly how I'm feeling officially two weeks out, you know, because I want to give you guys the rule. I want to give you guys the proper outlook on comp prep. You know, it's not easy. It's fucking exhausting. It is so exhausting, but we're pushing through. I'm actually gonna go make myself some more coffee because coffee is life at the moment. And if it's not showing up on my blood test, I don't want it. Dame la plata, plata. Cash, cash, cash. Get money, get money. It's bam, 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 bam. It's bam, bam. She wanna flick for the ground. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. We officially made it through to the middle of the week, which means I am officially 10 days out from competing. Tomorrow, we hit single digits. I did my check-in with my coach this morning, so I'm actually going to put a video in after me talking um, of how I exactly look 10 days out from my first ever WBFF show. It's been a long time coming, so very excited. I'm gonna go home, have some food. I've just done my morning posing, cardio, steps. So gonna go home, have some food, then get stuck into some client work. I have another posing session later today, so I'll take you guys along for that. Not really going to get up too much today. Um, I might sit down and have a little bit of a chit chat with you guys later on. But yeah, Wednesdays are pretty much a just a chilled get shit ready. And I don't want to make this vlog super long because I know the weekend I am going to be filming a lot for you guys. So I'm going to go home, have some food. It is, what time is it? It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I've still got plenty to do. I still have to go shopping and get a few things for this comp, which I might actually do today. Um, I need to get a handbag, my jewelry for show day, and some new makeup for events afterwards. So might actually do that today, actually, if I have time. Yes. Anyway, I am a busy girl and also a very hungry girl. <laughs>
afternoon guys. It is almost 1.30. So I have one more client call to do and then I'm heading off to the gym. So I thought I'll make up my <coughs> pre-workout. Wow. Before I head off. And I'll show you guys which pre-workout I have been using at the moment. Um, I am an ambassador for Piranha Labs. So if you want to go and shop their range online, their link will be in the description. I am using their Piranha Labs Mayhem pre lan Mus Sticks. Honestly, if you guys can zoom in on that or screenshot it, highly recommend. It tastes like those raspberry lollies. Also, a little bit of a side note, my eyebrows look like this because I literally just took them done. So that is why I just do them myself now because you girls gotta save some coin. Comp prep's expensive. And where I can, I'm gonna save some money. We're gonna do two scoops because I need all the caffeine I can get right now. More fluid I drink, the better. And my friends, that is how you make a pre-workout cocktail. Shake, shake, shake. Ooh, shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Oh, shake, shake, shake. Oh, shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. On today's agenda for workouts, I'm pretty sure I have upper body. So with upper, because we don't really wanna build my upper body too much, we're taking it pretty light. So just going through the range of motions, it's kind of like a maintenance workout today. So shoulders, delts, back, no chest. I'm actually excited to train some chest post comp because I generally miss doing chest press and chest flies. Like, I don't know, I think it's because I don't have it in my program. I miss it. But yeah, so today's a bit of a maintenance upper body. Um, yeah, I'll take you guys along for the ride. I'll see you guys when I am at the gym training some upper body. Um, top is from Muscle Nation, it's very old. And the shorts I think are from Rapid Wear. I'm not sure, these are really old, but they do have a scrunch bum. Honestly, I just don't know, but this is the outfit, all gray. And we went for this one because of the back. Show off my fucking jack back. Ooh. Uh, done last official upper body day until next week which is peak week still haven't got my protocols for peak week yet for my coach but hopefully get them in the next couple of days he hasn't done my check-in yet I've sent through all my check-in details so find out exactly what my protocols are for next week but I have a feeling that was the last official upper body day which I am going to push myself it was freaking brutal it was so hard I actually almost ended up tearing up halfway through the session I just I'm struggling it's a struggle town so we're just ticking off the boxes at the moment ticking in the boxes 
doing one thing at a time. Look, if I can get through the next three more days, three more days of this week, I am all winning. So anyway, I'm going to go home, have some food, because I have a feeling that's probably why I'm a little bit emotional. And then, yeah, call it a day. I think I still have roughly 5,000 steps to do. So I track the majority of my steps through my aura ring, which is this bad boy here. Um, but yeah, so still got 5,000 steps to do. Pretty much do majority of my steps around the area. But feeling really emotional today. Like, I'm just... Honestly, I'm so over this. I'm so over prep. Almost there. Almost there. Saturday is the start of peak week, so... Just got to get through. Got to get through the days. Probably won't talk much for the rest of the day. I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow. Afternoons kind of kill me, so... I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Happy nine days out for my competition. It is 8.50 in the morning. I have my mic on because there's builders next door and they're pretty, pretty loud. So it is 8.40. I've got my call with my coach in the next half up, which I'm very excited about. So hopefully he gives me some good news in terms of peak week protocols and what I need to do for peak week and, um, you know, loading up my carbs and that because I'm so depleted at the moment. Like I just feel so shit at the moment. It's crazy. Like last night was such a right, rough night's sleep, barely slept. Still got around six hours, but I was just tossing and turning all night, which is not ideal, especially when, you know, I want to try to get maximum recovery possible. So yeah, that was a fun and games. I'm just going to try to prioritize recovery as much as I can today. Focus on making sure I drink enough water, nap where I can, and just focus on giving my body the rest that it deserves, especially this close to the show. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna to do today. I've got some work on the laptop. I might take you guys along to the shops with me um, and my training session later this afternoon because it's leg day. So I'll do that. I do need to go pick up a handbag and some jewelry, which I might take you guys along for the ride. Besides from that, got nothing really else bad besides for work. So I'll be busy editing this vlog and uh, contacting clients because next week my hours are limited due to peak week and obviously everything that evolves around peak week appointments photo shoots all that fun stuff so yes getting myself pre prepared prepped and prepared can't even talk these days and I've got some emails to check through this morning so I'm gonna have myself a coffee get some work done and probably talk to you guys later
I am the happiest person on earth. So as you guys would have seen, when I was on my laptop, I had a call with my coach and he gave me pretty much a rundown on what peak week is going to look like, what the next few days are going to look like and it's safe to say, the end is near. Like, literally the end is near. I've only got two and a half days of pushing as hard as I possibly can. So same protocols, just trying to make sure that I hit my steps, my cardio, all that fun stuff. And then Sunday, things start to, things start to lift, which is also really good. Cardio decreases, fats increase. Carbohydrates are still gonna be freaking low until Wednesday next week, but good things are coming. Good things are coming, I'm freaking stoked. It's giving me more energy to push more energy, more energy, more footwork, more footwork, yeah. It definitely has, it's giving me more energy to push really hard for the next two days. Two more days and then, then it's almost go time. So yeah, fun times ahead. Fats increase on Monday, carbs increase next Wednesday. So next Wednesday is when I do a carb load. So it's gonna fill my body with more carbohydrates. Output's gonna be a lot lower. So my steps are gonna decrease to like 10,000 per day, which is incredible because at the moment I'm doing 15,000. Cardio is gonna be completely cut out after Monday. Monday I have a 20 minutes on the stepper, which is like literally a godsend because at the moment I'm doing 50 minutes every day, seven days a week. I'm doing 50 minutes and then, yeah. My brain's just not working right now. I'm just too excited. I can't believe it's all happening. But so freaking thankful for Josh and everything he has done for me. Like, yeah, it's been a really enjoyable prep. Hard, but enjoyable. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm gonna have my second meal, which is the egg white omelette with one egg. And probably chill for a little bit, do some editing, and then head to the gym, go train, and call it a day. Literally, I don't really do much. Life leading into peak week is pretty, pretty mundane. Cause you just, your aim is just to survive. If you can survive into peak week, you've done a good job. You've done a bloody good job. So I did actually end up going shopping after the gym and I didn't end up filming it because, you know, I just wasn't in the mood. I wasn't in the mood to film, but I did film it on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, let's take a little plug, go do so because that's where I post literally all my daily updates for this comp. But I did end up going shopping after the gym because I, and planning on heading down to the Gold Coast slightly earlier. So this video will be cut a little bit short because I might actually start my peak week a little bit early and then split it up into two videos because I just know it's gonna be, it's gonna be a massive one. Um, but yes, end up going shopping. Got myself some new shoes. These are just kind of like my everyday shoes. Been wanting a pair of these for such a long time. So they're just normal flats, but they're kind of like really comfy. It's so gonna be wearing them everywhere on the Gold Coast. So I got myself some new shoes and then this will be my handbag for registration night, which I'm very excited about. 
And no, this is not a hint in terms of what my color of my rojo dress will be. That's going to be kept a secret. But this is my little handbag. So it's kind of like a really nice glittery gold, which I'm so soaked about. And it does have like a crossover body chain. So that's going to be really handy. Um, so that is that. And then I ended up going to La Visa and getting my hot day jewelry. Oh my God, it's all coming together. So these are the bracelets I will be wearing. My earrings. So bracelets, earrings, and then these are kind of like just hooped earrings that I might wear um, either on Rego night or I might even wear them when I go out on the Sunday night. So just a nice pair of earrings and some new bracelets to wear. So yeah, that's kind of like my little haul for you guys of what I ended up getting myself. You guys can't really see, but yeah, super freaking excited. It's all coming together. I'm so excited. Let me say this one time, that one time, you make me feel alright. Hey guys, it's like 7 o'clock at night. I'm gonna go head to bed because I am absolutely knackered. The night times absolutely kill me, but one thing that I have been trialing out over the last couple of days, which has actually been helping with my sleep a little bit, is this stuff. So this is from Honest, it's a fairly new supplement brand on the Gold Coast apparently, but I've been trialing out their Thermo Sleep. So it's pretty much just a kind of like a sleep supplement that you can have that helps you sleep and just calm your adrenal system because obviously my adrenal system is through the roof with all the amount of cardio that I do, the steps, you know, everything else, the pharmaceuticals that I currently have. Um, yeah, so I've been trialing out and this flavor is peach tea. It tastes so freaking good. I'm not an ambassador for them, but they did send me out a whole box of their supplements. So I have been having a bit of it of a night. I just put it in a shaker, shake it up and then have it around 30 minutes before I go to sleep. And I don't know if I say placebo, but it has been helping. So I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna call it a night, and I'll probably end this vlog here because I have done the editing for it and it's like almost 25 minutes. I think it's just over. And I'm trying to keep it around the 25 minute mark. So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys at peak week, which is two days away. So you guys will probably see that video next week. Bye for now.